guys, it's me, Matrix here, bringing another Minecraft video. Not Minecraft. I always do that. I'm so accustomed to doing Minecraft. Guys, this is my Wizards 101 Let's Play. Yeah, guys, <laughs> I'm super happy for this. And we just talked to Saren Nightchant about defeating Rattlebones. So, our new quest right now, if we hit Q, is to defeat Rattlebones. He's just a few. A uh, few uh, meters or steps or I don't know what Wizards 101 uses to, uh, to uh, I guess measure their uh, distances in here. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go kill him, man. And it sounds horrible, but we're gonna go kill him. Like look at those guys right there. Those are his little his little minions. His little skeletal pirate minions. They're, they're ugly. That's right. I call them ugly. I did just do that. But yeah, guys. This is our uh, first boss, actually. Um, I need to stop talking in that voice. It's a weird voice. Uh, this, I mean, this is our first boss, and uh, so yeah, I think he's a death. Uh, if I believe you cannot stop us, Wizard. The corruption of the fairies is just the beginning of Malastar's plans. Soon, Wizard City will fall, and there isn't anything anyone can do about it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could be Rattlebones, man. All right, so he's got a fairy here with him. Um, we might not be able to do this actually. Because uh, he does go first. Actually, just kidding. Yeah, we will be able to. Hopefully. Um, I'm pretty sure we will. Because we have fairy... Yeah. We should be able to do it. Oh, what's he got? Oh, minus. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait. Just kidding. That's, that's silly. Sounds like he's actually going to use a life spell. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, guys. This is episode two of my uh, walkthrough through Wizards 101. I kind of forgot to say that. So yeah. Um, really excited. And I think we got this in the bag, actually. Actually, yeah, we should be fine. That's what I'm going to do. What, 120 damage? I'm calling it 120. 120, 120. <laughs> Half that. Yeah, really. Jeez. Alright, that was a little bad. It's going to do, uh, I'm calling it, it's going to do 65 damage. Just kidding. Minus 20. <laughs> oh, jeez. I am horrible at predictions. I used to be really good at them. Bless them. Um, yeah. Great. Here we go. Boom. I'm have to, I should probably have discarded those things. That would have been smart. Hey, you're bad. You fizzled. Oh, well, well. I don't fizzle. Alright. Oh, I just realized that's a leaf or whatever you want to call it. Um, life. Uh, it shouldn't have a resistant really. Um, because this is unicorn way. Fancy stuff. I say so myself. Am you're dead. Oh, you have one HP, don't you? More like five. Just kidding, guys. I can probably say we did, in fact, conquer Rattlebones our first try. Thank you, thank you. I would like to thank the Academy, and I thank my uh, my mother and my uh, pet uh, pet uh, ant eater and um, and how they assisted me. Through my journey on this, um, there's, there's no need to thank uh, Headmaster Ambrose or Sarah Nightchant or any of that. It was, you know, it was all, it was all about those. Uh, it was all about the, uh, the pet ant eater. He was with me 100% uh, of the way. He's been with me since day one. He's a uh, yeah, he's Bay. My pet ant eater is Bay. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a great title for this episode. I might actually title. My ant eater is Bay. And zoom out and zoom in. And zoom out and zoom in. And zoom out. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, guys, once I become level 5, which if I do C on level 3, um, I'm gonna get him out because I can't. Yeah. It's just really annoying. Actually, uh, we'll test that afterwards. Alright, here we go. Let's talk to Sarah Night Chant. Let's do it. You did it! Now did the fairies it. will sing again! You bested that wretched skeleton rattle bones! I wish that was the end of our troubles in Wizard City, but I'm afraid a more sinister evil is still out there. <laughs> Thanks to you, Wizard, Unicorn Way is in less danger than it was. But we are still not out of the dark woods yet. Oops. You should report our progress to Headmaster Ambrose. The news about Rattlebones may help him determine what doom has come to Wizard City. Yeah, buddy boys, we just got... Oh, jeez. Um, mm, this is plus two attack. Yeah, might as well. Um, ooh, fancy. They look kind of the same. Guys, we actually just did get a uh, one-day enchanted broom mount. 
So I could probably get to level 5 before I need to, uh, because what am I, 4 now? Yeah, level 4. And level, actually is it level 5 or 15? I don't remember. Uh-oh. Um, but yeah, I should be able to, uh, get that before we have to, um, because yeah, I have permanent mounts, lots of permanent mounts, because I spent loads of money on this game, once upon a time. Oh, congratulations, young wizard. I hear that you have found a solution to the fairy corruption. Uh, unfortunately, Wizard City is not out of peril just yet. All is at risk. You tell the headmaster what Rattlebones told you. So, Ballastair has designs on bringing Wizard City to its knees, eh? This does not bode well. Eh, we will still need to be on guard, lest his evil plans succeed. Uh, thank you for all you have done, young wizard. And talk again. Uh, my apologies <laughs> for the excitement, young wizard. There are forces at work, making things uh, disorderly. Welcome now to the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts, Ooh, young wizard. Spooky. Now, on to your enrollment. There are seven magic instructors here in Ravenwood. You should visit each of them to get to know them better. You can use your compass to find the Ravenwood Tunnel. The main schoolhouses are there circling the great tree, Bartleby. Return oh. to me when you're finished. So basically, guys, there are seven schools, like you said. There is, uh, we might as well just like walk around and go here. There's Balance School, which is actually based in Krakatopia and all that fun stuff. Then there is the Storm School, Ice School. Here, let's just talk to the guys while we're going around. Might as well. And I think. Jolly good to meet you, new student. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Arthur Weathersfield. I'm originally from Marleybone, which is a much different world than this. As a lad, I was always interested in magic, but they don't practice magic in Marleybone. When I got older, I spent many years studying here in Ravenwood. But for the past ten years, I've been in Crocotopia. I came back to train students in a form of magic called sorcery that deals with the balance of all things. It is more advanced than the other schools and harder to master, but its power uh, is unbelievable. Thought. Come by later if you want to learn right, more. So Cheers. that's a balanced school. They're, they're a cool school, but um, sadly I will not be doing the balance wizard. But maybe later on, after I conquer this wizard, we could maybe do the balance wizard. You never know. If this series gets so ah, far, I a new it does. student. Welcome to the School of Storm, also known as Divination. For those who have chosen to master this magic are known as Diviners. I am Professor Halstrom Bellstrom, Master Inventor. Oh, yes, and hey, Professor of Ryan. Storm Magic. Who can master the power of the Storm Lords in the Seas? Anyone who can harness their creativity. You look like a smart one. Check back when you're ready to start learning how to release your inner thunder! Ooh. All right. Uh, and then next one is the ice school. Even though it talks tells me to talk to the other guy, I'm gonna talk to the ice school. This is uh, Lydia Greyrose. She's pretty cool. Welcome, dear. I am Lydia Greyrose, your ice magic professor. Ice magic or thaumaturgy is not for the impatient or flighty. My goodness, no. You need to study hard to learn ice magic, but I'm sure you will be great at it. And I'll always offer a hand if you need it. Come see me later when you are ready to begin your lessons. You have much to learn from ice. All right, so I forgot to mention this, but if y'all are ever interested in playing this, um, basically balance, you don't get all the cards from here, um, and balance is good for doing blades slash shields, Storm, I don't want to enter. Storm does um, lots of damage. Storm, uh, storm wizards normally have low health, but they can deal a butt ton of damage. Don't know why I went into the ice school. The ice uh, has uh, low. Oh my gosh, <laughs> has low attack, but a lot of health. They have like up to like seven thousand, ten thousand health. It's insane. Fire school is a uh, is one of the schools that uh, does damage over time. Let's go ahead and talk to Dahlia Flamia. Hello. Welcome to the School of Fire. I'm Madame Faumea. Ah, oh, yes. You're a new student here. You definitely have that spark about you. Oh. Here, I instruct students how to be powerful pyromancers. 
but fire can be quite dangerous. Mm -hmm. We must not be rash, lest we destroy that which we mean to achieve. Come see me after you have finished your tour. I'm always up for fanning the flames so students can learn more about pyromancy. Alright, so as you can see, guys, right here, there's a, uh, something missing here. And we'll find out about that. Have you come looking for the death school? Well, you found where it used to be. This gaping chasm is all that is left after it was torn from Ravenwood. It is said that Malastare, the death professor, caused it to disappear. I'm not sure what happened to the school, but you'll find many rumors around town about it. Oh, I'm Malorn Ashthorn. I don't so if you want, I can teach you some death spells or necromancy. If you're up for it, stop by any time. Alright guys, so uh, fancy, fancy story about this. The death school isn't that far away as you think it might be. It might be right in the commons. You don't know, but I do. Oh, Cyrus Drake, he's kind of a jerk. <laughs> Let me guess. Another Condra oh, wants yash, to be yash, taking the yash. Ravenwood tour? Yas. Oh. Professor Drake shakes his head in frustration. I wish they would send us some adept pupils for once. Oh boy, I can make you adept. Well, if you wish to attempt to learn some myth spells, no, come back later jerk. and I will see that? how well you pay attention. Now, leave me alone. No, I'm good. I'm just gonna keep bugging you. <laughs> Little punk. <laughs> Loser. Alright, here, this is my lovely school, and uh, my teacher, well, this is going to be interesting. My teacher is a, uh, she's a cow. <laughs> Mulinda Wu. Welcome, my dear young wizard. I am Mulinda Wu, professor of the School of Life. This school celebrates the living, evergreen power of creation and vitality. If you listen carefully to your surroundings... You'll hear life magic all around. Just a few notes can lift one's troubles, purify, purify one's one spirit, spirit, and restore, restore life. Soon I will teach you how. Come visit me when you, you're Melinda. ready to learn more. Mulinda is bay. So is... What was bay earlier? Oh, my pet anteater is also bay. Oh, here, here. I'm going to try this as an experiment. Oh! Ah, oh, sweet. Okay, so I, I do have the shared bank. Basically, this means I can send myself mounts. And I have a lot of stuff in here for my other stuff. Uh, no need to look at that. Ha 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 ha. Alright, let's go, let's go ahead and roll it out of here. But yeah, guys, super cool stuff. Um, I'm going to be getting, once this broom fades away, which will probably fade away soon, because I'm not going to play this really too much. Um, I might do some, like, off-camera leveling, maybe, just to get a little bit of head. But yeah. Let's talk to Merle Ambrose in the comments. Headmaster Merle Ambrose. Oh, good. Now you know where all your classes are held. I hope you liked all the Ravenwood instructors. Nope. Uh, if you want, you can <laughs> wander about to see what all Wizard City has to offer. See ya. I should mention, though, uh, there have been some strange events around town. Nothing serious. Uh, nothing that a promising wizard like you couldn't handle. So, as a reward for your visiting all the instructors, here is a new spell card. Don't, Don't forget to add it to, it to your deck. deck. Uh, what is it? A blade, I think. A shield. Oh, goodness. Oh, just You've kidding. only just enrolled, <laughs> and you're fast becoming one of our brightest students, young wizard. Would you do another favor for me? You've demonstrated you're capable and unafraid. Sergeant Muldoon in Old Town needs help. I'd like to see what you can do. Go through the shopping district and look for the old town gate. Show Muldoon this letter, or else he won't let you pass. So when, uh, when I was a little kid, um, when I used to play this when I was a wee little youngster, I uh, used to think, because um, I didn't know the actual like old English term of old, which is O-L-D-E, so I used to call it old -a town Oldie town Alright guys, we're going to go to Oldie town Um... I'm going to go talk to Sergeant Muldoon in Oldie Town. Halt! Who goes there? Uh, Felicia. You show Sergeant Muldoon the letter from the headmaster. This darkness has come upon Wizard City so quickly we're overwhelmed dealing with it. I'm glad you're here to help. You're that student everyone is talking about, aren't you? They say you're Wizard City's last hope. And you've just enrolled. 
You did a good job spooking the spooks on Unicorn Way. Spooky. But evil is on the move. Push down in one place, something pops up somewhere else. Now it's Old Town's turn. If we lose control of Old Town to the undead, defeat Lady Black Hope and lock her in her tower on uh -oh. Unicorn Way. Do that, uh -oh. and I'll let you pass. Uh-oh. We need to go talk to Lady Black Hope. We'll probably do a little bit more than talking. Here, actually, quickly, let's make sure this is in my deck. It is, because that's all I have in my deck. And, yeah, so instead of doing that, I'll just heal myself. And, yeah, fancy stuff there. I get some extra cards because of the wand I have. I took away the uh, Blast Wand, which is, like, the wand that does, like, ze uh, it costs zero pips and does, like, 45 damage or so. Um, I took away that and got the other, uh, and, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I will come back. Um, I'm trying to side off, uh, or whether or not to, uh, do off-camera side quest or what. I, ha I still really haven't decided it about that yet. Um, so, yeah. But I probably will. I'll just do the main walkthrough quest, like, and, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what I'll do. All right. Let's go. Let's go have a nice little chat. Dear with Lady Black. should I dabble in the affairs of the undead? Perish now, wizard! Don't give me nightmares, jeez. Her voice is just ugly. Like her. I mean, look at her. She's ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. Oh, I wish I had a dark move. Eh, shmeh. Might as well kill the pirate first. Because can, I can knock it out quicker than I can knock out the boss. <laughs> Let's find Bob Murray. It's there. Look at there. Aren't I cool? Alright, so it's gonna do. I don't know what it's gonna do, actually. Um. Or her. Whatever you. It. <laughs> Alright, let's go and do Thunder Snake. It might fizzle. Probably has a high. It, uh, nope. Good. Oh, I always know when it's gonna fizzle. I have, I have that. I have that sense. You know, that sense. That tingling feeling in the back of my neck. Like I'm Spider Man or something. I don't even know. Hey, an M, and I resisted it. Aren't I cool? Because <laughs> that would have done 55% or 55 damage. But what did it do? But what it did it actually do? It didn't do 55. It did 52. Minus three, boy. Uh, 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 uh. And fire cat going to kill you, girl. That's right. I just two shot Lady Black Hope. What I got here? I don't know what that was. Uh, and it's just a treasure card. All right, let's go talk to Sergeant Muldoon. Maldundo, oh, in Oldie Town. I'm just gonna call it that, just just cause. I'm just gonna keep calling it Oldie Town instead of Old Town. It's gonna be Oldie Town. You know, I don't even care. <laughs> Yolo, don't Kate. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah, see this guy. He's got it. He's he's, he's got the stuff. And uh, I, I later found out in my uh, times of playing Bazaar. It's the best place to go right there. It's a, that's the place to be if you want to go shopping for stuff. Sergeant Muldoon, let's talk to you. So, you beat the ghost, did I you? I did. Very oh. impressive. None of the guards were brave enough to face her. I bet. With Old She's Town ugly. secure, I feel better about letting you through to the other streets. But be careful, understand? Something's going on. This place is not as safe as it seems. I hear fearful rumors about a big nasty wraith named Lord Nightshade roaming around. My guess is that he's responsible for much of the trouble Wizard City now faces. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is right here, um, we have to choose um, which one. There's Triton, a there's Putting Out the Fires, which is in Firecat Alley, uh, Triton Avenue, which is on Triton Avenue, and a Giant Problem, which is on Cyclops Lane. I will be doing Triton Avenue just to follow with everyone who doesn't have crown slash membership to go into the other places. Because Triton Avenue is the only free place you can go. Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm going to uh, go next episode though. So guys, I hope you guys all thoroughly enjoyed this second episode of Wizards 101 Walkthrough. It's me, Matrix, and I'm out. Goodbye.